So to start with the chat application, what we are going to do is first let's create the page inside source pages. We'll create our chat page dot view. All right. So the typical thing will be I'll add a wrapper class and ID will be chat wrapper. Okay. From view 2.0, um, it is mandatory that the entire template is inside one single uh, no, HTML element. And that's the reason we keep this wrapper thing in place. Okay, uh, typical markup, nothing fancy. Section heading, we will call this chat. Okay, rest we can look at later on. Uh, anyways, you know, um, when you see my Git code, it can contain a few additional markup because I'm not going to go into the details of the markup for now. Uh, that will, you know, increase the video time a lot so you, know, you can always refer to the markup final thing it may have some css stylings as well so we will import our chat page we need to create the route we are going to duplicate this this requires the metadata we will name it chat and flows accordingly all right that's done we need a link here so top menu i'll quickly add the router link so inside my li li doesn't have any class i have router link tag okay this is how uh, the view router in its new version creates the a link in that we'll have chat okay that's like the text which is going to be displayed and then we create an to attribute and we pass an object in that name will be chat this is what exactly is the name we have given to the route refresh we have chat if I click it I'm loading that particular widget so yeah we are there um, I need a link to the dashboard so I'll just copy this all right uh, this is chat is it no it's not refreshing okay so dashboard and chat we are clear on this part now how we are going to uh, you know create our chat application is a lot like um, slack if you know anyone of you have used it so we will have user listing on the left hand side and on clicking i'll get the um, history of my of the you know conversation i had with that user and i can start chatting so we need to create that type of markup so section it will be content okay and let's divide it in columns of 2 and 10 so column 2 okay and we will name it id equals user list column and we'll create one more this one will be 10 and let's call it mm, what do we call it chat content wrapper okay something like that um, and so we are going to load the user list and show the chat content okay so this is how the layout will be and this is how it looks now the next thing which we are going to do is basically um, you know have this uh, user list being loaded here that's something which I'm going to show you in the next video.